Well, the Oklahoma State Wildlife Department is taking public comment on dozens of new proposed rules from littering to bag limits. And News 4's Caitlin Ogle explains some of the rules and why one bow fisherman's taking issue with one of them. The Oklahoma Wildlife Department releasing new proposed rules for the state. One says if hunters leave behind their shotgun shells, that's littering. Pretty simple. Pick up your trash. Our game wardens, if, if they find a situation where someone is littering and is leaving shotgun shells, they could um, you know, write a ticket for that. Another limits the hunting of velvet bucks. That would allow a limited harvest of, I believe it's, it's 10 bucks, uh, to be taken in a, in, a, in a draw system. A bow fisherman rule gaining attention. A 10 fish bag limit per day on non-game native fish, which live longer and are episodic spawners. We want to provide as much opportunity uh, to, to the public as possible, and, but, but while at the same time conserving those those species for generations to come. What's different about bow fishing is that there's there's not catch and release. Bow fishermen are great for catching unlimited amounts of invasive fish. Stephen Banizak holds the state record for the biggest silver carp caught in Oklahoma. But Banizak says spots to hunt invasive fish are limited, whereas spots to catch non-game fish are plentiful. Native non-game fish is going to be over three times more heavily regulated than game fish. So if you wanted to go out and shoot every species that you're allowed to shoot, you wouldn't even be able to make it halfway through. If this is allowed to go through without any sort of data showing this necessity, um, what's to say they can't do that with something else? He adds this rule could hurt the already small bow fisherman community. Wouldn't it be worth the time or the money. And all we're really asking for is the same respect that all other anglers and outdoorsmen are getting. Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, the Department of Wildlife is taking public comment on those proposed rules now until December 8th. Yeah, boy, have your voice. The commission will vote on them around the beginning of next year before rules go into effect about six months later.